Hey guys, uh, M13 here. This is for my public YouTube channel and I'm going to share this with uh, foreigners in the Philippines, Facebook page, Reddit, whatever. And uh, at first, okay, oh, this guy on the left is exercising, so that's good. We got a older white guy, he's out pumping his arms, doing getting, getting his exercise in. And that's, that's good. Uh, but he still had a really large gut. Uh, here's the thing, like I've, I've, I've studied this topic, I've talked to doctors one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, one of my best friends is a, one of the most renowned doctors on the planet Earth, and I'm not exaggerating, he's one of the best doctors on the planet. Like he flies from country to country to teach doctors how to be doctors. Anyways, um, yeah, and he said that, well, it's, it's, a, it's a known fact, uh, just waste fat is the worst fat. Like, people think, oh yeah. I'm not fat, I'm slim, and I got a bit of a beer gut, you know? I have a beer belly, but other than that, I'm slim. Beer belly is the worst kind of fat, period. Uh, because all the fat around your waist, it suffocates and damages all your internal organs, you know, the things you need to live. So, just because your arms and legs are, are still normal, and you only have a beer gut, that doesn't mean, oh, I'm, I'm not fat. No, you're, you're, not, you're not only fat, you're like one of the worst kinds of fat because you're, you're damaging all of your internal organs by having that extra fat suffocating them. So, yeah, I just, that's my comment on beer guts. I'm just sick of seeing foreigners here that are fat, man. Like, there's a, there's a stereotype. If you're old, ugly, and fat, you go to countries like Thailand, Vietnam, or the Philippines, and you get yourself a beautiful wife because there's a lot of poverty here. And, uh, you know, as long as you're financially stable, you can get yourself a good wife because financially stable is more important to a lot of people than anything else, you know, especially if it helps their family because family loyalty is big here. That's another topic. I see these foreigners a lot on the foreigner uh, Reddit and the foreigner Facebook pages that talk about, oh yeah, my wife wants me to like give money to her sister or to her, my mother-in-law or this or that. And it's like, and then other foreigners that live here are saying, nah, fuck that. You know, you take care of yourself, you take care of your wife and that's it. And I'm just sitting here like, yeah, fuck your family, you know, like, Nothing matters more in life than family, and they're just saying, screw over your family. Anyone that isn't a blood relative, screw them. Even though they're blood relatives to your wife, who you pretend to love, you know, screw them. I am not, I'm not rich. I'm not even middle class. I'm like, whatever's below middle class. <laughs> I'm low class? <laughs> yeah, that's good, lady. Just pull right out in front of me. You know, uh, so yeah, I, I don't have much money, but I still send some money to my wife's family in the Philippines every single month since uh, since we married. Because when we married, well, when she, when, she, when she got pregnant, when she was about, when she was like, you know, seven, eight months pregnant, she stopped working. And, you know, she always sent money to her family. So by marrying her and her having my child, that responsibility falls to me. So I send some money every month. It's not much, but it's, 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 it's what I can afford. And here's the thing. If I started making more money, I would start sending more. And if I was making a lot of money, I would send a lot of money. You know, like why wouldn't I want to use my money to help the extended members of my family if I could? You know, it's not like they're using it for drugs or alcohol. They just, they're, 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 they're literally just getting by and what money they do get they spend frugally on things that they need or things that they can use to improve their life. Yeah, it's like, you know, you, sometimes you see like wealthy people that have uh, GoFundMes or you see, um, you know, like famous YouTubers or TikTokers or whatever and you can send them a $5 thumbs up or this, whatever it is, stars or whatever you pay money for to send to someone who's already a millionaire. Like how messed up is that? You're sending $5, $10, I have no idea where I am, so at some point I should make a U-turn. Oh, anyways, um, I'm, I'm off topic again, right? Yeah, I just want to beg the foreigners in Asia. There's nothing you can do about being old and ugly. I get that. 
but for the love of whatever you do love, I'm guessing it's money and sex with young women, stop being fat. It, like, it, it, it's not only good for you, it's good for all other white people. You know, like it's every nine out of every 10 foreigners I see here are fat white guys. And it's just pissing me off, especially in a country where everyone's uh, like poverty level and, and, and they have trouble finding enough to food, food to eat each day. So they're all thin. And then you're walking around like, hi, I'm eating, you know, I'm this fat, disgusting American that eats enough food for three or four people each day, even though I don't need it. So it's I just eat extra food that I don't need be because I like being unhealthy and I like pooping more than the average person. Like, it's just ridiculous. And if you want to know an easy way to lose weight, super easy, super, super easy, do what I'm doing. I, I got about 20 pounds overweight all in, my, all in my belly. I got a bit of a beer belly, even though I don't drink. So what I did was, once I noticed I was like 20 pounds overweight, I looked in the mirror and I'm like, oh, that's not good. I stopped eating dinner. I ate breakfast. I eat lunch, and then once I finish eating lunch, I just drink water for the rest of the afternoon and the rest of the night. No snacks. You know, like you can't have any calories because that's that's a key part of it. You're you're giving your digestive system a chance to rest. It, it doesn't just lose weight. It also reduces drastically your chances of cancer, diabetes, a list like a whole list of diseases and Ill, and, and uh, yeah illnesses. So. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's so easy, man. You just stop eating dinner. And after you've done it for like three or four days, guess what? You don't get hungry after lunch. You eat lunch, your body knows that's the last meal of the day. So your stomach kind of just shuts down and you don't feel hunger. Easiest thing in the world. And it makes you way healthier and you steadily lose weight. And uh, a lot of times when I say that to people, they often respond with, yeah, I don't eat breakfast right now. I don't give a shit about breakfast. Breakfast, you know how many fat people I know who don't eat breakfast because they're too lazy? Because they wake up late in the morning and then they go to work or whatever and then they just eat like an extra big lunch to, to make up for the fact they didn't eat breakfast. Or chances are what they do is once they get to work, they snack on something. Like they get a chocolate bar or something else because they, they didn't eat breakfast. And these idiots with their, I don't eat, yeah, I, I fast, I don't eat breakfast. Oh, screw you. Breakfast is generally the smallest meal of the day and most of the people that say they don't eat breakfast, chances are they snack on something else that makes up for it. But if you do the strict hard and fast rule, uh, water, water only, go man, I moved over for you. Just uh, you eat lunch. Is that the same car? You eat lunch. After you eat lunch from about one in the afternoon or two in the afternoon for the rest of the day, water only. You'll feel better, you save money. Like it, it's a diet that pays you cash. And you steadily lose weight because you're cutting out like 50% of your calories a day. Because I'd, I'd say generally speaking, you get about as many calories in dinner as you do in breakfast and lunch combined. So you're cutting, yeah, yeah. And it's just, a, yeah, I'm just tired of seeing every foreigner I see here is just this fat, disgusting pig. And most of the time they have a wife that's 20 years younger than them. I can understand the younger wife thing. My wife is, uh, you know, about, <laughs> she's about a decade younger than me. Uh, oh, speaking of which, and this is off topic, but kind of funny. I, 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 was, I was hanging around with my nieces and nephews and I've been taking turns, uh, t taking them out on the motorcycle here, on the scooter. And I was, I was out yesterday with my 16-year-old niece. And we had more than one person ask her if I was her husband. <laughs> I'm middle-aged. She's 16. People are saying, oh, is this your husband? I'm like, my goodness. You have such a low opinion of foreigners that you think we're married she's my daughter for pete's sake her stepdaughter niece it's complicated anyways i think it's going to start raining and i should probably make a u-turn at some point because i'm i've been heading just the wrong direction for the longest time and the price of gas keeps going up 67 here it was 64 at the last place and the place before that it was like 61 
So this evidently is more and more remote because the gas prices keep going up and up. Okay, guys, yeah, that's the end of my video. If you're white and you're in the Philippines and you're fat, just stop, man. If you, you know, if you can't stop for me, then stop for yourself. Like literally, like, and this is crazy. Literally every extra pound you have on you is an extra percentage chance of you dying a slow, painful death to cancer. Yeah, so if you can't do it for your wife, you know, having this big, fat, gross thing to look at for your wife, if you can't do it for her, if you can't do it for me because I'm sick of the stereotype, then do it for yourself, you selfish bastard. Lose the weight. And uh, earlier we saw a guy that was uh, exercising. He was out, you know, he, he, had, he had a bit of a gut, but he was out, he was trying to improve himself, he's exercising. But here's the thing, exercise doesn't do dick to lose fat. If you're a fat guy that exercises every day, guess what, you're just gonna be a stronger than normal fat guy. You know, exercise counts for like five to 10% of weight loss. Diet is the other 95, 90%. So the only real thing you can do to lose weight is either count all your calories and have three shitty meals a day or just simply eat what you want for breakfast and lunch and then water only and this video is too long so i'm gonna stop it plus i need to turn around because i'm way out in the middle of nowhere with a little gas